Hello viewers, welcome again to your favorite learning station, Elimu TV, where we always get to watch and learn. As always, get to tune into Elimu TV. We got a number of lessons that two people need to watch and get to learn day on daily basis. Now, welcome to today's class. Your teacher is Roger Michira. We'll be taking you through history from uh, form four. The topic of discussion today is organization of African unity. Now, in the previous class, we did look at the origin of, of OAU, the pioneer, the, the leading uh, statesman of OAU, and also the aims of organization of African unity. Now, class, in today's lesson, we get to look at the structure of OAU. What, how was it structured, right? What were some of the organs of OAU? AU. Welcome all and let us learn. Now, what do we expect by the end of the lesson? We do expect that we are able to state the structure of OAU and also get to state the functions of the organs of OAU. So we get to, to state the structure of OAU and also get to state the functions of each and every organ of OAU. Now, the first structure of OAU is the assembly of heads of state, right? The assembly of heads of state, it, simply, it, 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 is, um, it is one of the supreme organ of OAU, right? And also, they met once a year. Now, the heads of state, these were the presidents, these were the prime ministers, right, of these independent states. These were the states that belong to OAU, right? Now, their leaders, right, the presidents, their prime ministers, right? all belong the assembly of heads of state and again we have said that this was one one of the supreme um one of the supreme organ of oau and they met once a year now members of the assembly had equal voting rights right they all had equal voting rights in this case here in oau we didn't have the veto power right such as uh, in, uh, not like the, the the united nations organization where we had the veto power in oau they all had the equal rights right and each and every state um, had one vote, right? For example, Kenya only had one vote. Kenya could not vote twice, right? It only had, so each and every state had one vote. And also, they elected the chairman yearly among the heads of, st of, of government, right? And, and, and these states could, could, um, could host the... Um, could, 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 could host the meeting, right? So, for example, if this year they're in Kenya, the president of Kenya will be the chairman, right? If next year they'll be in Tanzania, the president of Tanzania will be the president. So it will be the chairman. If they go to Ethiopia, the Ethiopian prime minister will be the chairman of the Organization of African Unity. Now, after we have looked at this, the, the, the heads of state, we get to the assembly, yes? The assembly of heads of state and government meeting, right? That is it, what I told you, right? Those are the champa where they always meet. And as you can see at the top there, at the, at the forefront there, where, where, where my pointer is, there is that sample, there's that logo of OAU, there's that African flag, right, of OAU. And those people seated in there, they are, they are simply, th those are the heads and, uh, of state and government. Now, the second, the second um, uh, organ of OAU is the Council of Ministers, right? And one thing we get to know is about Council of Ministers, it consisted mainly of the foreign ministers, right? Last year, you saw Amina Mohammed going to Addis Ababa, yes, or for the Council of Foreign Ministers, because she was our uh, foreign minister, right? So they always met there. So the all foreign ministers belong to the Council of Ministers, and they met twice, uh, twice a year. Now, they prepared the agenda of the meeting. These are the people who prepared the agenda of the meeting and also implemented the decisions passed by the heads of state. Now, after uh, when the heads of state meet on a yearly basis, now it's the work of the council ministers to get to implement what the heads of state deliberated on. And also, they prepared the OAU budgets and also approved, which was approved by the heads of state. Now, the foreign ministers get to prepare a budget, then they, 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 they forward the budget for approval from the heads of state. Now, the third organ, is the secretariat and in this case we're going to look at who are the secretary generals right and we can notice that the secretariat was headed by the secretary general who was elected for a four-year term of, of of office right so once a secretary general is elected he holds or she holds that position for a term of four years which however again 
they can be re-elected back to the position. Now, the Secretariat, the Secretariat, the offices are in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. Now, we, let us get to look at uh, the first, the, 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 the first uh, OAU Secret uh, Secretary General, who was Salim Ahmed Salim, is now the late, is now the late. That is uh, Salim Ahmed Salim was the Secretary General of OAU, and he served for a long time. But again, for now, is 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 the late. Then we have we had a, a common. Uh, Commission for, Medica uh, for Medication, Consolation, and Arbitration, right? That's the fourth, the fourth commission, Commission for Medication, Consolation, and Arbitration. Now, talking of medication, it is not medication, but mediation. So for that uh, correction, it is mediation and not medication. So it was the commission, the commission for mediation, conciliation, and arbitration. Now it was responsible for peaceful settlement of disputes. Now, and this one also exists up to now, right? The commission for mediation, conciliation, and arbitration. This is the commission that um, settles disputes, that takes a leading role in settling disputes in the African states. For example, in uh, in Sudan, we have been having we have been having uh, civil wars, right? So this, the, the the council. That's the Commission of Arbitration, Conciliation, and, uh, and the Mediation. It sends representatives to get to mediate when you have got international or border disputes. So, and also one thing we get to know is about is that OAU has got specialized commissions. These are the commissions that include the, the health organizations, right, the trade, the agriculture. Those are all other commissions that belong to the OAU. AU. Now we have get, gotten to look at the structure of OAU. We have said we have got the heads of state meeting, the secretariat, right, and also the ministerial meetings. Now, class, can we get to state the functions of the council of ministers and also who heads the secretariat, right? Who heads the secretariat and where are the offices? Now, for a reference, get to refer to Evolve World History and Government book for Oxford University Press, the seventh edition. And as always, the station you're watching is LMTV, your favorite learning station where you get to watch and learn. Stay tuned. <laughs>